Hello, in today's video I want to show you how to uh, save game state, like in our case this is the score, so we are going to store uh, the highest score into the file and when we are starting a new game, how to uh, load value from the file. Uh, to do this we need to create the new script, but our script would be created without any, any node. So I can simply in my scripts folder, I can click here, I can create script, I need to provide the name, uh, let's call it something config manager, uh, let's create. So now we have the script and we can write the, the code which will be responsible for uh, saving and uploading uh, values to the config. But before we can do it, we need to uh, make this script is auto load because script is not attached to the any node and we want to execute it from the different places. So that's why I'm going to open project settings. I go to the auto load in the same way as we did with the music player. I'm going to click here. Previously we selected the thing, but this time I'm going to select the script which is called config manager. It will have value config manager. Let's click add. And now we have the value config manager, which we can use uh, inside of our code. So now let's write uh, our functionality. So we're going to create function, which we call save. And it will take the score because we are going to write like just, just one value, which will be the score. So what we need to do is to create config config equal to the config file and let's call new. Uh, now we want to write some value to the config. So let's create config and let's call set value. Set value as you see accept few parameters section key and the value. So section uh, would let's call it something like save uh, value would be the score. I'm sorry, no, uh, key would be the score and value would be uh, the score which will pass to the our function. So now we have set the value and we need to save the config. So it's really simple config save. But we need location where they want to save it. So let's create here uh, where we are going to save, call save pass. And we have multiples, uh, like two really location. First, it's like user and second, it's resource. So right now we're going to use resource because it's easier for troubleshooting. It will be saved here. You see here we have the rest here because if we'll select user, it will be saved depend on your uh, operation system like in, in Windows, it will be something like your user, then hidden folder local and uh, so some other, I didn't remember exact pass. So we, we go into use this so we can uh, like easily explore the content of the uh, file. Next, what I'm going to create, that's load function. Uh, so what we are going to load, we are going to load, uh, we're going in the same way, we're going to create config file, config file new, and then uh, we would check for the error. So this uh, function config load and we need to specify here our save pass because from where we are going to load and let's see uh, what's its return. It's return the error. So we are checking like we are saving this to the error, right? And you see it's return OK on success. Uh, or one of the error values if the operation failed. So we need to check if the returned value is okay or not. So let's back here. So I can create the condition if error not equal to the okay. We simply exit from the function and return like now. Otherwise we would create variable high score or just simply score and we'll read the value from the file config get value 
and let's go game and here we save it on the sorry not the game but save and save it on the score and at the end we are going to return our score but it's we may have error here because for example if nothing is written like this does not exist but let's see let's let's call and let's see how it will work okay so now we have this what we want to do is to when ship is destroyed we want to save our current high score so let's go to the our world script where we have our score and we have here now config manager and i can call it here function save save and i can just put here a value of uh, our score and it will be written to the file and also we want to when a ship is destroyed we also want to uh, show the high score so previously we created this scene game over so let's add here new label let's add label which will be called as score let's drag it somewhere here let's drag it on the top and here we would write the default value high score equal to zero let's i think this should be fine and now we want to go to the script and in ready function because ready function executed uh like the first when scene is initiated so we want to read the value of the high score so it will be um, sorry, config config manager we have the function load then we should check what exactly is return so if if score equal to the null we just simply want to exit from the function not do anything but if there is value uh, we want to set a value of the score to the um, our highest value so let's drag value here so now we have this resource but it's conflicting the name so let's call this high score and this high score and then we have score and we have the function text attribute text and we can set value so let's do something like this high score plus and we need to add the convert our value of the high score to the string and this should visualize uh, our high score when game is over so now let's run the game and see if it works so game is started let's wait for let's destroy some of the monsters so we have score equal to 20 and now let our hero die so high score 20 uh works fine now uh let's close the game and let's explore the file it should be created here so you see we have save.cfg and we have section save and we have the key score but uh, we may have the problem here so let's start game one more time let's start and you see you have high score score equal to, to the zero so let's uh, destroy our and you see the high score is zero and i close the file reload so you see a score was updated to the zero uh, this is because uh, every time when ship is uh, like ship uh, our shark is destroyed we save new value of the score so we need to update our world to check uh, first to load the value of the score so let's create high score variable and we're going to use our config manager 
config manager and go into execute function load. So we got high score. So we need to check if high score is not equal to the null because if it's null, so we don't want to do anything. And then we should check if existing score bigger than high score because otherwise we don't want to update. So in this case, we updating the uh, value. Uh, okay. Now we should be able to delete this line because we don't need it, uh, but we need it. Uh, so because here we are trying to read, but if config like our does not exist, so we cannot read anything. So it never will be up updated because we have this condition. So I think I need to add here else and save the value. So first we are checking if value exists. If it does, we are checking if the existing score bigger than value from the file. And if that's true, we are saving, but it, if file does not exist or this value, so we are saving it like anyway. Let's run the game one more time. So we have score equal to zero. Let's destroy. So we got 40, let's dyno. Okay. Let's close, let's verify the value. So we got 40. Now let's start the game one more time. And let's see. If so, we see, see here we have equal to the zero right now. So let our hero destroy it, and you see we still have high score equal to the zero. Uh, that's all for today's video. See you in the next one.